Right, turn the screen around, am I in? No. 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 Why are you so little? Because it's only as much as I grew. Try that. Yeah, yep. that's better. Perfect. Shall we start? Let's go. Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy Golf and welcome to Kelly, my wife, golf widow, if you don't know who she is on the channel, why they don't know her, you know, you're, you're, you're the lovely lady that does all the tickets and stuff at our golf days. Yeah, but we haven't done one this year, so. No, we're doing other stuff. We're having a year off. We're having a year off, that's fine. So, talking of last year, last year, this week, uh, Masters week, we created some lovely foodie videos. We did. Yeah. Kelly and I also run a small food channel, yep. which currently is called the Big Oggy Bake House, but it's going to be simplified down to Big Oggy Food. So if you're interested in another part of our life, come and uh, join us on Big Oggy Food as well. But for today, we're going to make some recipes here. So last year we made some recipes for the Masters Golf Tournament. We did. Because the Masters is not just about golf, it's synonymous with food mm -hmm. and good value food. And we made some a uh, couple of sandwiches. Yep. We made the cheese pimento sandwich. We did. You weren't keen. No, I didn't like that at all. We made an egg salad sandwich, which was lush. That was okay. Yeah. Yep. And we made some cocktails. They were good. <laughs> they were good. Um, Arnold Palmer cocktail and the azalea cocktail. Azalea, yeah. Azalea. Oh, that was good. That wasn't was a it? nice one. Yeah. What we didn't do was dessert. So. If you want to go and see those other videos, I'm going to put them on a playlist and link it above. And also the links will be in the description below for all those other videos that we did from last year. Please go and watch because they're a lot of fun. These are going to be quicker, honestly. Okay. So this one is dessert. We are going to make peach ice cream yeah. for the peach ice cream sandwich. Yeah. So today we're going to make the peach ice cream. It is so fast, so quick, you won't believe it. That's why I'm waffling because I've got to pat it out in a few minutes. And then tomorrow we're going to make the sugar, sugar cookies, cookies, which kind of make the sandwich. But you know, we're in Britain. You can you can just eat this and stick it in a waffle cone or just stick it in a little bowl with a little wafer on the top. It's a good one because there's a no churn ice cream. Yeah. So if you don't have an ice cream maker, that, that doesn't matter yeah. at all. We haven't, this one. It's, no, we haven't got one. Okay. So for yeah. this, and it's very easy, you basically need something to mix it. We've got a fancy KitchenAid because, let's be honest, we've got a food channel. But you can use just a normal balloon whisk. Yeah, if, balloon whisk. I mean, it might your arm ache, but you can do it. Takes time. Uh, you will need one pound of peaches. Now, it is April here. Yeah, exactly. That's not going to happen around here, or you can. I mean, you can get kind of peaches, but they're not really very particularly good no, right they're now. They're not very good at them in that. So, we have bought a pound of frozen nectarines and peaches. Yeah, it's just a bag. It's just a bag of frozen fruit, okay? Um, but you can use a tin. You can use a tin, you can do tin peach as well. Again, whatever your preference is, it makes no difference. Yeah. This is just the fruit that goes in it. You will also need... Double cream. Double cream. About 570 mils. It's a couple of American cups, but yeah. 570 mils, because we're using an American recipe. This is the masters after all. Pretty much a whole large carton, a little yeah. bit left off. You need, and this is messy, 14 ounce tin, I believe it is. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, messy, <laughs> of um, condensed milk. Yeah. It is the absolute best thing to ever put into homemade ice cream, condensed milk. I don't know that there's any other brands apart from that particular carnation, brand. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen plug, it. So it, you know, it's Carnation. And actually, I don't know that Carnation make any other size tin either. So no, it's I don't just think they do. So it's basically a tin, okay? It's 14 ounces, but it's a tin. Uh, it will make your ice cream so smooth it is unreal. Okay? And that's basically your sweetness in it. And you need two teaspoons. We're using vanilla paste, because we're posh. But use vanilla extract if you haven't got it. Do not use vanilla essence ever. Okay? But because basically it's a vanilla ice cream with fruit in it. Just now, Mr. Top's fruit. Oh, well, heavy handed. So, we're just gonna put this together now. Like we said, it's dead easy. The, the peaches we have now chopped. I defrosted them. Yeah. 
and um, the actual Masters ice cream, there's no recipe out there for that because no. they don't share it. It's a one-off, yeah, secret thing that they, um, what's the word, sort of like a contract. No idea. They contract yeah. it out, don't it's, they? It's, a a, it's contracted company. out to a company um, and the company is a very private company. It doesn't allow anyone else to use the recipe. Uh, and when they make it there, it's smooth. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you can blitz your peaches down to puree if you want. We actually prefer yeah, a little bit of quite nice, a little bit of biting. So I've I've not blitzed them in a food processor or anything. I just put a knife through it and chopped it small. Chopped them into about pea sized pieces. And because they were frozen, they are gone a bit juicy, which is good. That's fine because if you use fresh ones, you're supposed to just macerate them a little bit with to make a them a bit juicy. Potato masher or something. Yeah, and obviously if you're using tin peaches, they'll be a bit juicy they'll anyway. They'll be juicy so anyway. Perfect. Chop them up. Jobs are good. So so first off, we need cream. So this is. In America, it'd be called whipping cream. Don't get confused in Britain with whipping cream. You actually use double cream or heavy cream. Okay, we're using pretty much the whole thing. Why not? Know. Can't be bothered taking no. 50 mils out. What's that all about? Stick and that then, lot of gooey goodness in. Yeah. We got any spare if I can make a sandwich with it. You can make the plate that it rolled out onto if you want. Oh, cheers. This oh. stuff is like sticky heaven. <laughs> it's like 1970s all over again, right. Didn't they used to put condensed milk in sandwiches? Yeah, condensed milk sandwiches with a bit of sugar on top of them as well. That was when you were really poor, wasn't it? That was when you were really poor. Didn't they used to give condensed milk to babies as well? Yeah, yeah. I'm just a big baby, let's be honest. Right. I'm just trying to make sure I get all this out because it's... Because that's your sweetness. So yeah, so make sure you get as much of that out as possible because that's your sugar base. And sometimes even, you know, we're not too sure sometimes when you get frozen fruit, it can be a bit sharp. But obviously, you make this in the summer with fresh peaches, it'll be amazing. If you've got a peach tree or something like that, yeah, you've got a good. Glot, it'd be amazing. Yeah. So, so, pop that one in. Two teaspoons of this one, the vanilla paste. Like I said, or vanilla extract. Do not really use essence if you even bother to get it anymore because it's basically chemicals. Okay, so a couple of teaspoons of that and it doesn't matter if you're a little bit generous with it because that's basically making you vanilla ice cream. There we go. Okay, lovely. It's like Fanny and Johnny. Honestly, <laughs> well I'm the Johnny, I'm saying nothing. Right. Right. Sound is going to go quiet because you don't want to hear a food mixer going for yep, five minutes. Basically you just whip it up until it's soft peaks. We'll come back to you. Ooh. Might be handy if I put the thing down. Might be. Okay, so initially I said soft peaks, quick check, stiff peaks, okay? So you'll see that on the little picture I'm just showing now. What did it take? Two minutes? Not much more than that. On a, so do it on a medium to high speed. We've got up to 10 on here, we put on a seven. That's how much it takes. That is vanilla ice cream. You are absolutely done for vanilla ice cream. We're now gonna add some peaches to it. You just fold them in nice and steady. I give you that to That'll affect the, the audio now. Well done. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Um, so, we were just saying actually in the summer, ice cream is so easy to make and people don't realize it. So if you get a glut of fruit or if you go strawberry picking or whatever, or you just realize that some of the fruit you got in the area is just lovely, then just make ice cream and stick, do this really. So we're just gonna fold this in. I let Kelly do all, not because I can't cook, but because she just takes over anyway. Don't you? Well, you just tend to make a mess. Make a mess, oh, absolutely. So it takes me twice as long to clear up. True. I might as well do it myself. Yeah, I didn't say I did the clearing up bit. I did say I do no, the creating exactly. bit. I know. You should see the state of my studio. So once you've done this, it needs to go into a container. Now, you can have the old normal plastic ice cream containers if you've kept any of those. Any freezer safe container, because it's got to go in the freezer, obviously, goes in for between four and six hours, even overnight. Yeah. And that kind of stiffens it up properly. We are gonna put it in a brownie tin. A brownie tin. A brownie tin that's been lined with baking, paper. baking paper. So there's a reason for this and that's for tomorrow for the actual master's peach ice cream sandwich. Ready? Yep. I'm just hoping this will fit in there. But quite frankly, just put it in whatever you wanna put it in. As long as it's freezer safe, it's fine. Obviously most people would quite often have an old plastic ice cream tub around. Just keep one. You know, you go and buy some 
walls or whatever company you want to use around here it'll be Kelly's that's interesting as you're called Kelly you're not related to the uh, famous no, sadly family. I'm not shame could have done, with them, could have done the extra money yeah, um, could but you know, stick it in what you like now if you're going to make the ice cream sandwiches which is basically a sugar cookie on the bottom sugar cookie on the top ice cream in the middle you need to do it like this you need to put it into a, a flat tray a flat tray with the parchment underneath it okay all will be revealed tomorrow when we explain what happens with that so that's it for now please watch please subscribe please do all those things come and see us on big oggy bakehouse or what will be big oggy food and please come back tomorrow because we will show you how to make this into something very masters like now if you, if you want an english one obviously just you know four or six hours scoop it out jobs are good and it'll still be delicious it really will try it how easy was that how easy was that perfect say goodbye kelly bye everybody see you tomorrow Hope you're doing well with the master's bets, everyone. Bye.